The year is 1849 and America has got a fever, a gold fever. In Sid Fleischmann's book, By the Great Horn Spoon, news of the discovery of gold has spread all the way from California to Boston. At the same time, the once well-to-do flag family has just found out that their fortune was almost gone. In an effort to save the family home, young Jackie Flagg and her trusted butler, Praiseworthy, decide to travel to California to get their hands on some of the gold. Jackie and Praiseworthy sneak out of the house and make their way down to Boston Harbor. They decide to buy tickets on the steamship Lady Wilma, headed for California. Unfortunately, as they are waiting to buy their tickets, a sneaky thief steals their money. Jackie and Praiseworthy must still get to California, so they sneak on board the Lady Wilma as stowaways and hide amongst the barrels, lumber, and rats of the underdeck. Later, Pierce Captain Swain finds Jackie and Praiseworthy. He decides to make them pay off their fare by shoveling coal in the steamy hot coal bunkers of the boiler room. After two months at sea and through a series of comedic activities, Jackie and Prairie where they catch the thief and make many interesting friends along the way. Eventually, Jackie and Praise where they make it to San Francisco and ultimately the gold fields in the Sierra of Nevadas. Sometime and many adventures later, our Bostonian gold seekers state their claim, strike it rich, and even acquire awesome nicknames, Jamoko Jackie and Bullwick. Our fourth grade class loved learning about the California Gold Rush. Reading by the Great Horn Spoon was so fun and interesting, so we decided to write a play loosely based off of it. Please enjoy our play, Changing Swings.